This is a video response to the Monty Hall problem video that I've seen on YouTube today. And uh, I'm not going to explain the puzzle. You can read that in my video's description. Uh, this video is actually designed for the people in the comments section that insist on uh, sticking with their door or insisting that it's a 50-50 chance after the game show host has revealed the goat behind the third door. Uh, well, you're just wrong. That's as simple as that. It's not a 50-50 chance. Uh, it's just like the guy that did the video said. If you stay with your original pick, it's one out of three. If you switch to the other door, it's two out of three. You'll get it right. Now, it might not be so easy to see because it's only three doors. If you had a chance to win a million dollars and you're down to three choices, I'd like those odds. One out of three is not that hard to pick. But if you take the same example to show how your odds don't change just because the contestant or the game show host shows you something that you already knew, that is that there's a goat behind one of the other two doors, it becomes a little easier to see. In fact, I've made two programs and I'll link those programs in the video description as well. And I would encourage anyone that thinks 50-50 to download those programs and just play the game yourself several times. I've made one with three doors and I've made one with a hundred doors. Uh, I would suggest going to the 100 door one first because it's so much easier to see how your odds remain one in a hundred if you stay with your initial pick. Uh, there's plenty of ways to explain this and I think this guy even did a, f a few of those. The way to think of this is if I pick right initially, that's one in three, that if I stick with that, that's the only way I'm going to win is if I pick the initial one right. Now if I pick wrong, which there's two chances that I'm going to pick wrong, and I switch, I'll win. So if I pick door number two, and that was wrong, and I switch, I win. If I pick door number three, and that was wrong, and I switch, I win. The only way I lose if I switch is if I got, the right, got it right the first time. That's one out of three. Uh, the only way I win if I stay is by picking it originally. One out of three again. So let's do let's do rather than my puzzles that are in the video description. Let's do a one in a million. Got a million doors. Got a car behind one of those doors. Got a goat behind all the rest of the doors. You pick initially door number five. What are the odds that you got it right at this point in time? One in a million. Now, if I open up all and I know where the car is, I'm not just randomly opening doors. If I open up all the other doors, except door number five, and one other door, and I ask you if you want to stick with that initial pick, what are the odds you have it right right now? Still one in a million. If you switch, your odds increase to 999,999 out of a million, because I'm giving you all the other doors. It's that simple. Now, I'm going to start an idiot list with this video. It's going to be over in my comments. For everyone that I see that says it's still 50-50 on the million door puzzle or on the one in three, you're going to be added to my idiot list over there. And uh, it's not to make fun of you, but you really have to download my programs. If you download those programs and you play it a few times, again, the one in a hundred one, you're going to see clearly with your own eyes that the guy that made this initial puzzle is right. Uh, one in a hundred, you pick it right the first time. If you stay with that, you're only going to win one out of a hundred times on average. The one in three, you might have to play it a little bit more. You might get lucky because you can beat one in three odds for a while. But if you play it a hundred times or even 50 times, you're going to start to see that if you switch every time, your odds increase. You're going to have a two in three chance of winning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully convincing some people. If not, uh, you can be added to the idiot list. I'm just warning you ahead of time that you will be. You can be taken off the idiot list, by the way. If you make the idiot list and then you come around and say, you know, I played your computer games and uh, I realize now the error of my ways and you were right to begin with, it's actually not me, it's math. Math that's right. And uh, then you can be taken off the idiot list. But uh, anyways, we'll start that idiot list the first time somebody comes and claims that I'm the idiot. And I'm looking forward to it.